we're starting to get into the more advanced aspects of the crab ride now. Um, we're going to teach you how to break a guy flat and roll him through. This is really the one that I use. Um, it's a little tricky. Pay close attention. First off, let's have a little discussion about the backpack position. When I backpack myself, boom, and I'm on tight, look how shallow this half is right now. It's not that good. If I want to get it deeper, I push his head down with my head. I'm going to come high, and I can get my head in a lot deeper. Try to keep your head up strong. Right? You start grinding him down. It also, if you notice, takes all the weight off his knees and starts putting it on his hands, which is going to be very important. Shifting, he's got his head up, and I start shifting down, trying to get my head. Okay, notice where my knees are. One's coming in front, but this other one is still pinching. I don't want this to be out here. This is no good. Now he can step over me. Here is strong. Take a look, come behind me completely. Here is fine, I still control him. Here is no good. If he rolls now, he's going to hop over my legs. Watch, go crank down and roll. Up to this side. So I just want you to like, jump over me, okay? Uh, right? If I'm off to the side too much, he'll jump over me. Up, oh, he's outside, he's no longer between my knees. I'm giving up a five point reversal. Now, one of the first thing, one of the things that you're going to learn that's very annoying for the guy uh, on bottom to do is to start peeling your hands. What if they, well, yeah, great, you have a, from when you get your half in your tight waist, you can score. What if they start attacking your wrist? And that's the, the main way guys are going to shut you down. Simple concept. Take a look. Come out front. If I'm here doing it and he's trying to come up and peel it off with one hand, it's two versus one. He needs to support himself with that hand. I'm going to win any hand fighting from here. No matter how he's grabbing me, it doesn't matter. Because I have two, he only has one. So I don't really care what he does. If I can get a two-on-one, um, this we're not going to cover in this series, but if you've mastered the two-on-one tilt, you can pretty much always score if you get a two-on-one. It's something that you are going to need. It's going to be essential for your crab ride. Make sure you master that because a guy will beat your, beat your crab ride by giving you a two-on-one. If you can tilt every time, then who cares if he does that? Now he's giving you a better position. Now, the other way, what if they use both hands? Joe can start coming in here with both hands. Go ahead, use both hands. But notice, I can keep the weight forward on his head. How's he going to get out now? Get out. The thing about having two hands on the mat is if I put my weight up top on you, your head goes to the mat. Once your head's on the mat, even if you completely control my fingers, get on top of me right now. Right? Let's say he, I come in here, I completely control his fingers, but he puts his weight a little forward, and now my head's on the mat. The problem is, the only way for me to get back up now is to post. And then he's right back inside and it made no there was no point in me doing that. So yeah, maybe a guy can grab your fingers and stay super low down in here, but he's just going to get hit for stalling and there's no way out. He's eventually going to have to let go to build back to his base. So that is a dead end, just know to keep the weight on his head. Now, we're up to the last one and where our main tilt is going to come from. What if he just stays strong in his base with his head up? Take a look at how we're going to break him down. Here's the breakdown. Uh, back up a little bit. We're going to run, run, run. Now your partner, his job is to stay as strong as he can in his base. If your partner's not being a good partner, not staying strong and falling down, you'll never learn this. I really need you to fight me here, okay? Come in. I shift the back. Keep your head up. Ready? Go. Boom. Once he's collapsed on top of his own arm, try to stop me from rolling me through now. No problem rolling through. The idea is we're going to drive his upper body over his hand. So when his hand's out here, he's strong. But if I start driving, he's going to start moving that hand. I'll eventually get him on top of his shoulder. Once his shoulder is here, you see this? Am I too close? No, we're good. Once his shoulder's here underneath him, he has no post. He can't stop me from rolling him through. If his arm's out here, it's not going to work. If his arm's out here, it's not going to work. He can post. Okay, let's look again. Got my half nice and deep. Here I am. I shift to the side a little bit, and I just start driving. Go drive. Drive. Got him. He's over his arm. No longer can stop me. Try to stop me. Here we go. I just pull through, roll through, knee up right away, and I'm in my tilt. Very frustrating for the guy on bottom, okay? Very hard. 
The idea is you've got to master this breakdown and break it all the way down so he's on top of his own arm. Good. 